I don't have a lot of regrets when it comes to my life. I do believe that a lot of the things that we go through, whether it be in our control or out of our control, are defining moments of who we are as individuals. But there are a few certain things that I wish I could have done differently that would have made my overall high school and college experience a lot better. One of them, of course, being my style. Now, I already did a video about this where I give you a few tips I wish I knew back in high school and college when it came to you know my personal style. I'll have that video linked in the description below for you to go to check out. But today, I I am talking about grooming guys there are some things that I wish I knew to do and not to do when it came to my grooming routine that of course for those of you that are in college and high school now I want you to avoid so here are a few things when it came to grooming I wish I knew back in college and high school coming up Welcome to HP Fashion, where we give you tips and advice from its fashion, grooming, and lifestyle. I'm your host, Zach Fobbs. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when more great content is dropped. It's like this. Here are five grooming tips I wish I knew back in high school and college, starting with number one, do not use body wash on your face. The skin on our face is more sensitive than the rest of our bodies, guys. And the chemicals that we use in body wash is, you know, a lot more harsh and it'll, you know, it'll damage our skin in, causing it to be you know dried out and irritated over time my recommendation is to pick up a you know a product that is more dedicated to you know men's facial grooming and that's one of them being teach Hanley, my number one recommendation to you guys no sponsor i'm just saying and this is something that is made just for you know the skin that's on our face therefore it won't cause out any you know overall you know long-term you know damages or any irritation it'll keep our skin nice clean supple and smooth number two moisturize your face daily this is something that i you know fell short of you know during my college years especially i thought that since i had such a sweaty and oily complexion to myself i thought i didn't need to moisturize my face which of course couldn't be further from the truth when i moisturize my face after i wash my face it's you know it's, it's protection for myself you know it protects me from the sun's harmful rays and you know it helps my skin be a lot more clear because my pores are not being clogged up by you know my natural oils and any other harsh you know materials like dust grime or dead skin therefore causing a lot of breakout and acne so gentlemen, every single day, twice a day, whenever you are washing your face before you go to bed and when you wake up in the morning, make sure you do or you are following up with a daily facial moisturizer. Number three, water is a gift from God. Gentlemen, of course, there are a lot of benefits to drinking water. Number one being that it helps us, you know, with our health, helps us lose weight and help us stay hydrated all throughout the day. But it actually has a big impact on our skin. It helps, you know, push out a lot of the bacteria that we have, you know, hiding underneath our skin and help us stay moisturized. And with the same benefits as a daily moisturizer, maybe with a little more of a natural cause, helps us, you know, have a clear skin. So, you know, gentlemen, I think you should be having like eight glasses of water a day, or maybe that number has increased over the years. But but you know, opt out from drinking, you know, a lot of soda, a lot of tea, Gatorade, whatever it is that you prefer, and just start drinking a lot more water. And over time, tell me that you don't see a difference. Number four, learn how to trim facial hair. Gentlemen, for the entire time that I was in college, I was rocking a goatee. And it's something that, of course, that I thought it looked great, but according to my girlfriend and a few select others, I would have looked a lot better with a beard and it's something that yeah I guess I regret now because the only reason why I did rock a goatee and just a goatee alone is because I didn't know how to trim up a beard you know I didn't know how to you know keep up with it or anything like that I only relied on my barber to do it but at the time I was just switching in between barbers you know because I didn't really find one in college and I didn't really have the time or the money to regularly go to one. So, you know, I just took the easy way out and just rocked a goatee, which of course, if I had a beard, you know, I feel like I would have had a better impact on myself in terms of self-confidence and the overall confidence, you know, to obtain a girlfriend and, you know, just be a more confident person. <laughs> which does lead me to number five, and that's to embrace your beard. Gentlemen, like I said before, I didn't know how to really 
keep up with the beard. I didn't really know how to fully appreciate it. Therefore, I didn't really embrace it, you know, when I first knew I can grow, grow one out, which of course something I regret now, but you know, I don't have a problem with to this day. It's something that is it's my best friend, you know, besides my girlfriend. And it's something that I take so much time and dedication to and in return, it makes my face more symmetrical. It helps me stay, put some structure to my face. And it's something that I recommend to every single guy, you know, to have, keep up with, if you have that natural ability to obtain a beard. And if you guys, you know, if you guys have one or you have that capability to grow one and you don't take care of it or you don't even try to, give it a good four weeks, you know, let it grow out then pick up some products, you know, to help you, you know, keep it tamed and everything. And tell me you don't see a difference in your confidence boost or how people are looking at you or how that girl will typically look at you differently when you have something great on your face. Now it's your turn, guys. I wanna hear from you. What are some things that you regret when it comes to your grooming back in college and high school that you wish you would've known back then? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll be in discussion with you over the next few hours after I drop this video. But if you like this video and you learned something from it, don't forget to drop a like down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Help us build the HB community. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. See you next time.